Have you ever wondered what the process is like to become a Bellevue police officer? Well, that's what today's episode is all about. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the hiring process here for the Bellevue Police Department. Lieutenant Jashinsky and Lisa Vetter will walk you guys through the process of what it takes to get hired here at the Bellevue Police Department. So without further ado, let's go visit with Lieutenant Jashinsky. Hello, my name is Andy Jashinsky. I'm with the Bellevue Police Department's Office of Professional Standards. Today we are going to discuss some of the attributes that we look for in police officers as well as the process that you'd have to go through to become a Bellevue Police Officer. As far as attributes, uh, we are looking for people from the public that possess uh, integrity, honesty. Uh, we need officers that have uh, common sense. Uh, we need people that can handle uh, physical confrontation but also they have the ability to write about it in, in a report. Uh, we need people that have public speaking skills that can go to court and testify. Uh, if you feel like you have these attributes and would make a good police officer, we'd like you to apply with us. Step one in the process, go to BellevuePD.com and you will see a link on there where you can sign up to take the test. Our testing typically occurs on a Saturday morning and we test twice a year. When we conduct our testing on that Saturday morning, there are two types of written tests. There's the post test and the tape test. The post is the police officer selection test. The TABE is the adult basic education test. There's also a physical agility test that will test your abilities to move through an obstacle course. For those who successfully complete the written and physical agility tests, we will request that they turn in a personal history statement. The personal history statement is provided when you conduct the testing. Once we receive the personal history statements, we review those for the top candidates. At that point, we set up the oral board interviews. The oral board interview is a process where we have a panel or an oral board of officers that ask you a series of questions. We ask our applicants to answer those questions to the best of their abilities in order to score the best. Once the oral board interview process is completed, we take the scores from the oral board interview and combine those with the scores from the written testing. At that point, we come up with a final score and it's certified by the Civil Service Commission. Once the Civil Service Commission approves the list, the top applicants will move on to the background investigation. The background investigation is the most lengthy part of the application process. You will be assigned a background investigator that will initially start off by looking into the information that you provide in the personal history statement. Just keep in mind, it's very important that you are completely honest throughout the entire background investigation. There are many different documents that need to be turned in as part of the background investigation. Background investigator Lisa Vetter will discuss more of those. Once the background process starts, you will receive an email from myself asking for consent to start your background investigation. At this time, it will be important for you to respond back to the email giving us consent to start your background investigation. We will also ask for a current credit report to be given to us in a timely fashion. Once your file is prepared, it is assigned to a background investigator. At that time, it is important to make sure that we have all of the required attachments that were requested of you when you submitted your personal history statement. A birth certificate, social security card, valid driver's license, high school diploma or GED or transcripts, college diploma if applicable, and a DD-214 member 4 form. It is important to remember if there are any changes regarding your phone number, address, email, or any other contact information that you notify as soon as possible during the background process. After your background report is completed, it will be reviewed by myself and an interview will be scheduled with myself to go over your background investigation. 
After the interview, you will be scheduled for a pre-employment ride-along. Once the interview and the pre-employment ride-along is completed, your background investigation file will be forwarded to Lieutenant Chizinski to complete the in-home interview. Once you have completed the entire background process, I will come out and meet with you and your family for an in-home interview. This is something that we like to do at the Bellevue Police Department. We feel like we are a family here and we want to come out and meet with your family and tell you a little bit about us as well as give, give me a chance to learn a little bit more about you and your family. The next step is a conditional offer of employment. Once you are given a conditional offer of employment, the conditions are typically that you are able to pass a polygraph examination, a medical examination, and a psychological examination. Let's talk a little bit about all three of these. It's very important with the polygraph examination that you are honest throughout the entire exam examination. Keep in mind that we totally understand that we're all human and we all make mistakes. Sometimes we all make poor decisions. What we're more concerned about with polygraph examination is that you are truthful and that information comes out. We want to know that we are hiring the best police officers and police officers with integrity and that they will be honest with us and honest in court, honest all the time. That's very important. The medical examination is basically just testing to make sure that you have the physical attributes that are necessary to be a police officer. The psychological testing ensures that our applicants are suitable to be a police officer. It's important with all three of these tests, the polygraph test, the medical test, and psychological test, that you are completely honest throughout that entire process. Once you have met these conditions of employment, you'll be set up with an interview with the chief. Typically, during or after the interview with the chief, you would receive a start date with the Bellevue Police Department. The final step after meeting with the chief of police is a final offer of employment. The chief of police ultimately makes the final decision on which police officers we hire. At that point, you'd receive a letter that would contain a start date for your employment with the Bellevue Police Department, as well as your rate of pay. So in a nutshell, that is how you apply to become a Bellevue Police Officer. Keep in mind the process can take several months, but also understand that we are looking for the best, and these will be the best that you will work with as well on the Bellevue Police Department. Once you complete the entire process and are selected to be a Bellevue Police Officer, I would highly recommend that you work on physical fitness. Before attending the Police Academy, you will need to complete the PRET examination. That stands for Physical Readiness Entrance Test. The PRET consists of a one and a half mile run, one minute sit-ups, a 300 meter sprint, one minute push-ups, and a vertical jump. It's very important that you work on your physical fitness and try to be at your peak level at the time of the testing. So if you want a chance to make an excellent salary and benefits while serving your community, I would encourage you to apply to become a Bellevue Police Officer. All right, so that's it for this episode. Just as always, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one.